Folks alike, how much alone, they do not always have peace of mind. Let me tell you, but my God told me, God told, told me these trials would come. <laughs> so I decided to let my God's will be done. Yes, I did. I'll never give up every day. Try to get nearer, nearer my God to the uh, yes, the Lord. 
Can I get a witness in here? Let me tell you one more thing. Uh, Come on now. Trouble. Trouble is one thing that comes into everybody's life sometime. Say it. I just had to say that again. All the rich people and some of the poor folks are like, how much the law? They don't always have peace of mind. My God told me, he told me these trials will come. So I decided to let my God's will be done. Yes, I did. I'll never give up. Every day I try to get nearer, nearer my God.
Educated man, I haven't forgotten my roots in holiness and the classical Pentecostal upbringing for which I do not apologize. I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying that's the way God raised me up. So I like them old songs, I like them old rocking saints. You know, it makes me think of them, them saints with them little hats on. Sometimes they had little nets, huh? I guess, to keep the hair together. And women wore them stockings you couldn't see through, you know, them white. You know about it, Elder Vincent. And they was always, and see, they were, they were, we were an oppressed people, pressed on the job, oppressed in the home, not much money, very little, if any, education, and low class. I mean, God has brought us from a long way. Some of y'all know that. Especially Pentecostal people, you know. We, 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 you know, God had to go among those who were not too proud to say, Rosa Handolova, Yitililililil, and didn't know what they were talking about and rolling in the dust and doing some of those things they did. I remember they used to kind of froth at the mouth and they'd bring toilet paper in there when they, and they was tell, telling us they was getting purged. And I was thinking, Lord, don't purge me, but you know. And we were fasting and praying and none of us had very much money and we didn't have anything in the promise of our future but Jesus. And some of them old saints used to stand up in testimony service. Looked like the Lord would just give them songs just hot off the wire. They, maybe out of their prayer life. You know what the brags, what, they, what was happening there. Something way down on the inside. One of the old mamas would get up and sing a song and they'd look right at you and say, Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Come on and help me sing it, choir. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Whatsoever years may bring, what so whatsoever 
years may bring If my earthly friends forsake me If my earthly friends forsake me Still more closely to him cling Come on Still more closely to him cling Wanna hold to his hand Well
little bit of this. Come on. These two women raised me now. What was it? start the altar call at midnight and we didn't have any place else to go anyway so we just stayed there most of them didn't have television in, in their homes and the ones that did didn't want nobody to know it so. And, uh, so we loved lingering in the presence of the Lord and just singing we'd sing the same song over for almost an hour we just pass it down. One person take it, one person take it, till everybody gets falling out. And that's all we had. We didn't drink, we didn't get high on drugs, we didn't get high on alcohol, so all we had was the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Here's one of the songs I learned from my mom. When my work on earth is done, I'm going home to live with God. You ever heard that? All of my troubles will be over. I will make a new song. And wipe my weary eyes. I know that my troubles soon will be over. By and by. By and by. That day, that day is sure to come. Say hallelujah. How about this one? Use me, Lord, in thy service. Come on. Draw me nearer each 
each and every day For I'm willing, Lord, to run on Every step of the way And every step of the way ah, If I falter While I'm trying Please don't be angry Just let me say songs we couldn't find authors and they're not copyrighted and just some of them old saints would come in out of the cotton fields and rush home and a little bowl of beans and a piece of cornbread and put a little grease on their face and rush out to the what they call the house of prayer and you know how many of you remember testimony service and I would go on at least an hour and you'd testify and, or sing and shout in between every testimony. Repeat the same song until you sort of worked up a Holy Ghost lather. <laughs> and they just, I think, I, I, I kind of think that, that some of them, Brother Owens, just would sing back and forth. One person would sing one verse and somebody would sing another one. They'd come in off them fields and somebody would go, just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord sing it has kept me. He has kept me. I'm so glad that the Lord, come on, sing it with me, has kept me. I'm so glad. Come on, come on. Stay. 
travel the world, I wanted to preach the gospel, I wanted to win the loss, I wanted to see God's people come together. We crawled the floor, sobbing and weeping, doing our food for days and days and days. And in those days when you fasted, they didn't even let you drink water. And here's one, one last little chorus, and we're almost finished with this part of it. I feel like going on.
How many of you can say the Lord has done some good things for you? How many of you folks from out of town had a little attack of the devil just before you got here or came here? How many of you almost thought you weren't going to make it, but the Lord somehow brought you through? Look at somebody and say, the devil has won some battles, but he won't win the war. Now just stomp on him, he's under your feet one time. I want you to remember this good old song, that my, one of the songs my mom taught me when I was a little boy. She, if you know it, just, just catch on with me and sing it. It goes like this. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Come on. Jesus, I'll never forget what you set me free. Well, now, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Well, Jesus, I'll never forget but there's still a lot of things the Lord took you through that you don't even understand. There was a little old lady, little old church mother named Mother Sherman. She was what we call a district missionary. She was the church mother of our church, the Jackson Memorial Church of God in Christ in San Diego, California. 
She went to heaven when she was 101, I think. And she was a, such a sweet little down. She was about four. She looked like she was about four, three. And, uh, but a powerful preaching woman. And when I was a little boy, she used to say to me, she heard I was saved. I got saved when I was about four or five years old. And, she, and they heard about this little piercing boy that was saved. And she'd always come to me and said, son, you yet holding on? And I said, yes, ma'am, I'm yet holding on. She said, well, keep on keeping on then, baby. <laughs> she said that all the time. Every time I said, you yet holding on, them old missionaries always gonna th thought she was going to backslide between Sundays, you know. <laughs> you yet holding on? And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, keep on holding on, baby. And she'd give me a nickel. And then when I get a little older, she gave me a dime. You yet holding on? I said, yes, Mother Sherman, I'm yet holding on. You keep on keeping on, baby. And she gave me a quarter. By the time I got ready to go to college, she was up to a dollar. <laughs> I remember I came back from my freshman college year here at Oral Roberts University, and I saw Mother Sherman. She said, baby, you yet holding on? I said, yes, ma'am, I'm yet holding on. She said, well, you keep on keeping on then, baby. She never did get above a dollar. She stayed at that dollar. <laughs> but the last time I saw her alive, Mr. Morton, she was in a nursing home. And my godmother took me out to see her. She had lost her teeth. She, she, they couldn't find her teeth. She couldn't remember who I was. Our pastor, Bishop J.A. Blake, whose son Charles will be preaching in a little bit, Charles Blake. Bishop Blake had gone to heaven. And Mother Sherman didn't know it yet. She couldn't remember the name of our church. And it kind of broke my heart. And I said, Mother Sherman, she said, what is it, baby? I said, you remember me? She, looked, she said, how long will you do? I said, where's your teeth, Mother? She said, I don't know, they done lost them. <laughs> I said, well, I'm Carlton Pearson, and you used to encourage me a lot, Mother. When, when, uh, you, when I went to church, you was always telling me to, to keep on keeping on. I said, I've been, I was saved when I was a little boy, and your ministry has blessed me over the years. She said, oh, it, it did. I said, yeah, well, you were so sweet. She said, that's what you were sweet. She said, you get holding on? <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am, I'm yet holding on. She said, well, then you just keep on keeping on, baby. I said, well, I'm going to go, Mother Sherman. I just want to love you and pray for you. But there's one little song I wanted to sing for you before we, before we leave. Now, she couldn't remember the name of the church. She couldn't remember my name. She couldn't even remember our pastor, Bishop Blake. But I, I, I said, this, I sang this song. By and by, when the morning comes, all the saints of God again. We will tell the story how we've overcome, and we'll understand. I wondered if she understood it, but as soon as I started singing, she started moving a little head. I and mean, I, I never did know the verse, but I sang it through one time. Then she said, she looked at me. She said they'd been making noise in that nursing home. She said, but it ain't our kind of noise. <laughs> We'll understand it better. I said, bye and bye, mother. She went like this. Oh, bye and bye. When the morning come, come on. Oh, the thank of God. On the restless seas of time Somber skies and howling tempests Off the feet of bright sunshine In that land of perfect day When the mists have rolled away We will understand it better by
Yes, we will. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, 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 My God, my God. Song that goes like this in the morning when I rise in the morning.
time we sang this song was in church, uh, like a testimony service, at a happy time. But we actually sang this song at her mother's funeral. My grandma, the big mama, she's in heaven. But the only way we could go through that grief was to think about the morning when we rise. This is my oldest sister. That's one of the first songs I heard her sing. They call it a congregational song. And this happened in testimony service. She was somebody would testify, and then they'd start singing this song. She was about 10 years old, maybe, when she sang it. She's somewhere around 67 now. No, I'm kidding. She's the first one baptized in the Holy Ghost in our family. Why don't you take a little bit of it, baby? Sing it in the morning.
somebody say, I feel Jesus. Say it again, I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus. Yeah. I know that I feel. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yeah. Come on. We're the original Holy Rollers now. This would go on, this went on for three days at Azusa Street. They never stopped shouting. Blacks and whites and reds and yellows and brown. Don't care who came in there, they felt something. Come on, give the Lord a wave off it. Turn to someone and say, I know I've been changed. Say, the Lord's made a big difference in my life. Say, I'm a changed person. Scripture says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. How many of you used to dance in the world before you got saved? Somebody said to me one time, I don't want to be a Christian because I've got to stop dancing. We just said, we haven't stopped dancing. We just what? Change partners. Ha! Huh? I got a new partner and I'm changed. Remember that old song? I know I've been changed. Come on. I no, I've been changed, children. I no, I've been changed because the angels in heaven done sign my name. Sing it with me, everybody. I know I've been changed.
book of life. Are you saved? And do you know you're saved? Are you free and separated from sin? That was the old testimony. I'm saved and sanctified. Filled with the Holy Ghost. And a mighty burning fire. Hallelujah. Friends, we have Donnie McClurk in here tonight, one of our favorites. There's an old church medley that we like to hear him sing as we're trying to go back and bridge the past with the present to project us into the future. The old holiness movement of God, the Pentecostal expression on the classical Pentecostalism in America. Over 400 million classical Pentecostals on the planet today. Started in a little sort of converted livery stable. It used to be an AME church, African Methodist Episcopal. It was dormant, and the building was just laying there, and they went down there, and Brother Seymour and founded it. They started praying and seeking God. And it was a good old-fashioned move of the Holy Spirit. How many of you know we need a good old-fashioned move of the Holy Ghost? I've often said every time God gets ready to bring revival to the quote-unquote black church, somehow we miscarry to a civil rights movement. How many of you know we don't need another civil rights movement? We need a good old-fashioned outpouring of the Holy Ghost. That's what'll change lives. So I want you to clutch with all of your faith the good old-fashioned feeling you used to have. I still have it today, don't you? And I want you to think back to some of those precious times. And Come on, Brother Donnie McClurkin, and just lead us in this if that's what's on your heart or whatever the Lord gives you. Take us back a little bit because whenever Donnie sings, he always takes us back, you know. And we're going to all help you in any way we want. Give Donnie McClurkin a great big God bless you as he ministers. Come on, Donnie. Oh, my. I'm, I, there, there are songs. <laughs> this is the wrong thing to give me. Yes, this is the wrong thing to give me. Because when you're talking about old songs, my mind just runs back way further past where I'm, I was born, you know. Because those are the songs that nursed me. Those are the songs that weaned me. Those are the songs that gave me strength. Those are the songs that encouraged my faith. We talk a lot about gospel music, but I come to find out the things that we're singing really nowadays aren't really gospel. They're inspirational, but they're not really gospel music. Because the gospel is the birth, the life, the death, the resurrection, and the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And see, back in the day, they used to sing the gospel. They sung songs that said, live and heal that's the life. Die and he saved me. That's the death. Buried he carried my sins far away. But he didn't stop there rising. He justified. Yeah, I get free me. Oh, y'all don't know this. Glorious day. Well, living and he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Dying, he came my sins far away. But then around and he justified me.
Look at somebody and say, that's going to be a glorious day. Going to be a glorious day. Yeah. Glorious day. What time yeah. Just somebody say, I got a feeling that everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, my shaham do baba bio. Oh, yes. No, I'm looking at Bishop Paul Morton. He's up here tonight, founder and presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Fellowship. I can't sing this like Bishop Morton, but it goes something like this. If you know it, sing it. Father, I stretch, come on, my hands to thee, come on, no.
You know you're happy. Go ahead. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if many of you really realize you are a part of prophetic and apostolic history tonight. We are coming full circle. How many of you know we used to, be, used to be ashamed of the way we worship God? But here we are in the Maybe Center, on the campus of the Old Roberts University, black and white and red and yellow and brown and worshiping God in the beauty of holiness. Baptist and Methodist and Church of God in Christ and Assembly of God and some of us from Presbyterian backgrounds and Episcopalian backgrounds and how many of you know God is doing a new thing? Look at somebody and say, I wouldn't miss this for nothing. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. We're going to stop a little bit and let, let uh, Bishop preach and we're going to do a little bit of this tomorrow night. But I tell you what, Dorinda Clark is here and she has a song titled, I'm on my way to heaven. Maddie Moss Clark was one of the greatest leaders in the area of praise and worship and music of this century, particularly within the Church of God in Christ. She slipped away to be with the Lord. I think it was less than a year ago or right around a year ago. These girls, I've known them most of my life and known of them all of my life. And uh, now they're all preaching and evangelizing and God is using them. And we had Karen last year. This is the evangelist of the group. And I still feel that sweet anointing. It, still young. I want you to come, Dorinda. Let the Lord use you. One of these old, we let her choose a song that she wanted to sing from way back. Give Dorinda Clark a great big God bless you as she ministered. This song is a classic to me, and of course I wanted to do this song because in memory of my mother, my mother Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, who has paved the ground and laid the foundation even in the church, Church of God in Christ. And I wanted to do this song. Is it all right, y'all? Some of y'all may know it. Everybody put your hands together. Come on. And some of y'all may know it. Just sing along with it. Listen to me. 
know all about it. Come on. Father Allah, we will understand why. Cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my brother. Live in the sunshine. That fellas, we will know all about it. Father along, father up. Just give yourself a little time, you're gonna understand why. So cheer up. Verse. Come on. Tempted and tried, we were oft made to wonder. Anybody been there? Why it should be thus all the day long. While there are others and they're living all about us. Anybody got any precious memories in there? When I think of precious memories, I think about my grandmother. Some, some cornbread. I think about her pound cake. I think about her barbecue sauce. I think about looking beside her bed on a little nightstand with her glasses and her Bible. And every once in a while there were some dentures laying up there. She'd be down on her knees praying before she went to bed. And I always wanted to talk to my grandmother. That's my mother's mother there sitting there. But she would pray so long, I'd fall asleep. One night I'm determined I'm not going to fall asleep. I'm going to stay awake till Big Mama gets off her knees because I like to talk to her. I used to lay beside her in bed and we'd she'd answer all my questions. I remember I was able to stay awake long enough for her to wake up. But when she got up, she rolled over in bed, opened her Bible, and began to read another hour. I said, I'm giving it up. I'll talk to her in the morning. I saw that habit of her kneeling beside her bread, bed and praying. And it just thrills my heart. Those memories are precious and they have carried me to this day. They're precious. Everybody say precious. Say it again. They're precious. Precious secrets and sacred scenes. They unfold. I think my godmother's the first person I heard sing this. Godmother, you remember this song. Sitting out there with that pretty purple hat on tonight. Sing it if you know it. Precious memories. Does anybody have some in here tonight? How, how, how they linger. How they ever. How, how they ever. Flood my soul.
trying to say yeah I love this verse In Inside our words Way over in the middle of the night When my soul gets a little lonely Anybody ever been there? Just memories. Every heart is singing. Oh, Lord. Just they seem to keep on lingering in my mind all these years. When I think about the goodness of Jesus and all. Jackson personified everything that was good about gospel music. She sang from her soul directly to heaven, and we were all just lucky enough to listen in. Tonight, with the help of my very dear friend, Mr. Edwin Hawkins. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to sing one of her most popular songs and one of my very favorites, His Eye is on the Sparrow. <laughs> discouraged and why should the shadows fall why should my heart be lonely and lone for heaven And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy, and I sing.
Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus walked. Oh, when he walked. When Jesus walked. He washed my sin away. Day. Oh, day. oh, happy day. Oh, day. When Jesus walked. Oh, when he walked. When Jesus walked. He washed every one of my sins away. Every one of my sins away. He can do the same thing for you. Somebody 
everybody in here is trouble and you need peace tonight. Just to show you a clear picture. I can imagine them out there on that ship looking at Jesus laying down in sleep. They said, uh, Karis, uh, uh, can you get up, Jesus? Uh, that we, that we perish. And, and you know when they lighten, some of us forget a light. They said, And in the tradition that I grew up in, everybody say yeah, yeah. I got my mama. Yeah, my tumble ocean of mine. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Jonathan Desvarney Gospel Channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and get your praise on. Can I get a good hundred people who are just happy about what the Lord has done for you? Now you gotta make a sacrifice because I'm gonna ask you to get out of your seat. And I want you to come down here on holy ground and praise God for what he's done for you. On the count of three, I need to see 100 people move as quick as you can. One, two, all right, Bishop. Come on!